Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I wanted to first uh, say I'm not wearing makeup today, obviously, because if I wore makeup every single day of Vlogmas, my face would be destroyed in no time. So, sorry, but also not sorry at all, because I hate wearing makeup. So for today's video, I'm going to be introducing you to one of the four different animals that I got since I left YouTube many, many months ago. Um, so today I'm going to be introducing you to the two crested geckos that I picked up several months ago at NARBC Tinley Park in Illinois. I do make my animals go through at least a 30 day quarantine, typically 60 day quarantine before I put them in my animal room or film with them. They are able to be filmed with now, so I'm excited to introduce them to you. So without further ado, let's get started and we'll start with the male. Oh, okay, so this is the male that I purchased. He was from a breeder that I've wanted a gecko from since literally Tinley Park 20, I think the first year I went, literally, I found this breeder. Um, his breeder is Creepy Exotics and I absolutely love Barb's geckos. Um, they have super good structure and they're all really super friendly and socialized because she handles them from little bitty babies. So I knew right away when I met her that I wanted to get a gecko from her. But I told myself I would wait until this fall and then this fall rolled around and I was really excited to pick this boy up. Isn't he so cute? She works with a lot of like geckos with white fringe. Um, she does a lot of work with tricolors that are really gorgeous. And let me see if I can show you. But he actually has, it's kind of hard to see, especially since it's not focusing and he's moving around so much, but he has white fringe, which is really super gorgeous. And the reason I actually picked him was because of his super dense crests. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if that proves out into his babies. Um, he is an adult male, and he did have floppy tail. He had to get his tail removed, so which is why his little butt is crooked. It's not something he'll pass on or anything, but I did get him as a frog butt, and I actually prefer to get my geckos frog butt because I would feel really, really bad if they dropped their tail with me. <laughs> I'd feel guilty. So I got him, and he actually doesn't have a name yet. I've been going back and forth on a couple of names, so it'll be really cool to see what kind of babies he makes when his time rolls around, and he's just super sweet. Now we'll move on to the more surprise gecko that I wasn't really anticipating on finding there, but I did, and I'm really happy I did. So let's move on to Kala. She's a bit more flighty. She's still super young. And I say she, not knowing if it's actually a boy or a girl. But this is Kala, my baby lily white crested gecko. She's super light colored. Oh, there she goes. This is Kala. When I got her, she was probably half the size that she is now. She was like hatchling, like super itty bitty baby. Her original price was, I believe, like $1,300 which I couldn't really justify spending on a gecko <laughs> because let's be honest, that's a lot of money to drop on a gecko, um, especially a little itty bitty baby. I wasn't sure if she would, you know, eat or anything or like have a failure to thrive because she was just so small. But I got her home and the first thing she did was destroy a couple doobie roaches, so that was cool. And she's grown a lot since I've gotten her. Even when she fires up, she's super light colored. Her dorsal stripe is really like filling in nicely too. So I'm really excited to see what she looks like when she's older. It's really interesting to me, both of the breeders that I got these two geckos from use cooler incubating temperatures to help um, with structure. So the idea is if you leave a crested gecko in the egg longer and incubate them at um, a little bit cooler temperatures than you normally would, they'll stay in the egg longer. The incubation period will be longer, but when they come out, they're better formed and they're more hardy babies than if you incubate them fast at higher temperatures. So I thought that was really interesting. And it'll be something that I would like to try in the future. So obviously, Kala has <laughs> quite a while before she's ready to breed. Um, I really wanted to focus on more high-end crested geckos. Not that I don't love the babies that we produced this time, but they are more like mid-range crested geckos and I really wanted to try for more high-end cresties next time. So that's why I picked up these two and I'm really excited to work with them. By the way, I met a, one of my viewers at Tinley Park. After I got these babies, 
and they are the one that suggested the name Calla for Calla Lily, which I thought was a really creative name and I loved it and I had to go with it. I heard it and I immediately fell in love with the name. So I believe their name was Hannah. Thank you so much for the name suggestion. I really love it. I hope you enjoyed meeting the babies. If you have any suggestions for the male's name, go ahead and leave it below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. All right, bye guys.